all right so what is going on youtube my name is meho and welcome back to another video in which we're gonna see how a docker compose.yml file looks like so i'm gonna create a file called docker compose.yml and well technically speaking this could be any name but again docker defaults to some specific names by default obviously so um, in this case that is docker dash compose dot yml so if you're running any sort of command here and uh, it involves docker compose it's going to look for this named file obviously you can change it in the command line when you're executing that but yeah for now you just need to put it the way i have docker dash compose dot yml now what's the deal with this file is that you need certain commands in here in order to actually um, you know get started with creating building your containers and running your containers so the very first thing is the version number now docker compose has a lot of semantics a lot of versioning on how docker compose files could be written and the features associated with them so um, you could write it in either in the version one or two or three i think three is not out but yeah anyway so what you should do is probably go with version 2 point something at the moment. Um, if version 3 is out by, uh, by the time you're seeing this video, then yeah, you can go with that only. On CodeDamp currently, I make use of version 2.4. So there we are, right? So that's it. That's, that's a formality you have to do in order to bring in some features and bring out some deprecated features. So anyway, the next thing I want to tell you is about services. Now in Docker Compose, what they call containers, um, uh, at least what they start the key with, is services. I don't know why this could have been containers here, but you know, who cares? So once you have written services, what you have to do is now you have to define each of your service, right? Again, as I said, Docker Compose is meant for websites having a lot of containers, maybe like a few containers as well, like three or four, and they have to like some sort of establish some sort of communication over some ports or something right so it helps you manage a lot of containers so what you have to do is write the name of uh, your service now so i'm going to start off with my service like simple ubuntu right it could be anything ubu and okay i misspelled it there but anyway so simple ubuntu then the next thing i can do is i can give a container name Right, so the container name is the name of the container I'm gonna give. This is the service name. Simple Ubuntu is the name of the service and this is the name of the container which would get when the service is created, right? So what I'm gonna name this is uh, my container, whatever. The next thing is you can actually give it a build context. So do you remember how we, are, how we had created uh, the build things? So you can see, we wrote docker build then we uh, gave the name of the image and then the context of the build so on a similar notice what we can do is we can actually go ahead and give it a build so what i'm going to do is in this case i'm going to give it a context context right here which would be this and you can also give it a docker file right which is obviously in this case docker file only not really docker file but docker file because you see this is the same file as here so if your docker file is located in some other sort of directory you can actually give it um, that particular value and remember that this path is actually relative to the context you gave here so for example if i gave a context of a directory which is previous to this what i'm going to say i'm going to say docker slash docker file because remember my context now is the YouTube directory here and my docker file would be inside the docker folder from the context and then the docker file right so anyway to avoid confusion we're just gonna keep it here so yeah I mean this is like the basic setup even though you do not really need these keys as well but yeah I just I just mentioned it for clarity so this is the basic setup you can do so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and run docker compose up and hit enter now you're gonna see something happened so you see that when i ran docker compose up it created a network which you're gonna get on later on so just ignore this file for now then it said me that hey i'm building super simple ubuntu 
all right then it performed all the steps just like we had seen earlier and then it successfully built it and then successfully tagged it as the docker underscore simple ubuntu you can see that this is the name of your image so when we were doing with docker build this was the name of the image this time this is the container name uh not really container name just docker underscore the name of your service right and the latest tag obviously so yeah one more thing you can see is that it actually creates the container as well so when we used to build it it does not actually the docker command does not really create it the container but docker compose actually creates it attaches to it and then waits for it to exit so this is something we're going to discuss later on but yeah that's that's a good start i guess so yep that's that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video real quick